Ambassador, let me ask you about some of the things that have been in the news recently uh, on which people would like to hear your views, those of Ukraine. President uh, Putin in Russia yesterday ordered border officials there to tighten control after what were described in Russian media as attempted drone attacks near Moscow, including, it seems, near a Gazprom facility. I'm going to ask you directly, does Ukraine claim responsibility for these attacks? Well, first of all, it's very difficult to trust whatever information we get from Russia. But uh, let me answer like this. First, our priority is, of course, to get Russians out from everywhere in Ukraine. So um, we still need more weapons in order to be able to disrupt their uh, aggressive plans to liberate our territories as fast as possible because people suffer uh, on a daily basis, people have been killed, raped, tortured. Our children are being kidnapped, uh, forcefully deport, deported into Russia and put for a quick adoption. Now, according to the UN Charter, when the country is under uh, aggression and in this situation, it's a very clear situation. Russia is the only country that is the aggressor here. Russia is the only country that attacked us. Russia is the only country that is on the foreign territory for them, committing all these war crimes and atrocities, our right to defend ourselves uh, include the right to hit not only in Ukraine. But as you saw during this time, we are focused on first getting the Russia out from everywhere in Ukraine, from the, our territory, within the internationally recognized uh, borders. So, but if Russia will not stop this aggression, of course, they should not feel safe. Of course, we will use all the means to defend ourselves and liberate our territory.